Hey everyone, James Cleveland appeared on the Laura Coonsberg show where he claimed the Conservatives lost the election because they didn't listen to the public and were plagued by internal scandals. There, you were a lot defined by your infighting and you've also said recently you were defined by scandal. But one of the scandals earlier this year was that one of your donors, Frank Hester, had said that Diane Abbott, the Labour veteran MP, made you want to hate all black women and should be shot. Now, Frank Hester donated a further £5 million to the Conservative Party. It seems he pretty much bankrolled the election campaign. You want to change things. Would you accept donations from him in the future if you become the leader? Well, he uh, apologised. He admitted that what he said was completely wrong. And, and the reason he donated to the Conservative Party's general election campaign was to protect the British people from the Labour government well, that we now on. see. No, but, but this is really important. That's not my question. Because... My question is, would you, if you win, accept donations from him in the future? Well, the point I'm making is that he donated to our campaign so that we could protect the British people from the Labour government. But people want to know, you're sitting here saying you'd run a different Tory party, you'd be a different kind of leader. Would that be one of the things you would change? Well, Can you give us a clear answer? Would you, if you win, accept more donations from Frank Hester? Or well, not? I've not had any discussions with uh, Frank Hester about the future, but the point is he, what he said was, was, was uh, totally unacceptable. He has apologised for that. Um, he has been a donor to the party. Whether he is again in the future, I don't know. So you make the point. Money from but him. the point. Laura rightly pointed out that the corrupt and influence of donors on the Conservative Party, where even outright racists can get away with anything as long as they contribute millions. When asked if he would still accept money from Frank Hester, the guy who called Diane Abbott a racist slur, his response was anything but clear. When asked directly, would you accept donations from him in the future? Cleveland dodged the question, as always, instead saying Hester apologised and that his donation was meant to protect the British people from a Labour government. The host, Laura, pressed him again for a straight answer, but he just kept repeating the same talking points. The truth is, Cleveland didn't rule out accepting more money from Hester because, frankly, Frank Hester is a huge donor to the Conservative Party even after making his horrible comments. The narrative that Cleveland is trying to push here is laughable. He claims Hester donated millions to stop Labour because he supposedly cares about ordinary people. Let's be real. Frank Hester is not interested in helping ordinary people. If he were, he would donate to charities or try to help reduce the need for food banks. Instead, he's donating millions and millions of pounds to protect his own interests like ensuring inheritance and capital gains taxes don't go up, which primarily affect the wealthiest individuals, it's clear that Hester's donations are all about protect protecting people like him, not helping those struggling with the cost of living crisis. But anyway, let me know what you think. I've been Jay from Just Jake. See you next time. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. You actually made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, which, why haven't you already, is somewhere over there. And also, if you want to watch more videos, also check out over there. I've been Jay from Just Jake. See you later.